Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, if you have an issue with Windows Update, um, of course, if the um, October 2023 updates didn't install and you had the error message, I did a video. Microsoft did a uh, known issue rollback, which means if you check for the update again, this time around it should install. But in case it doesn't, and if Others out there have problems with a update in particular. One of the um, things that can happen and that help tremendously in Windows Update issues is uh, running the uh, Deployment Image Servicing and Management command line tool. So DISM is a tool that can help you get out of that type of problem. So how do you do this? Well, if, like I said, you're stuck with an update that refuses to install, go to your search and type CMD for command prompt, but click the run as administrator option. Once you are running it, what you'll need to do is type in here the famous command, which will be D I S M space um, forward slash, which is I'm trying to find the forward slash here. Here it is forward slash online space forward slash cleanup. dash image space forward slash once again restore and you see that the R is in uppercase health H and uppercase like this and of course I will be um, copying and pasting the command itself in the uh, description below if you want to just copy paste the command line and press enter and here it's going to verify the image with a clean correct image and will fix anything that might be wrong it will also clean up whatever could be a problem in the image uh, or in whatever is happening so once this is done what you'll able, be able to do is simply um, restart your PC and do a Windows update again. And one search, when you search for updates, uh, you should hopefully have a Windows update that runs perfectly. So just let it go through. It's going to be slower or faster. It depends on the speed of your machines and all of that. For some, it might take a long time to complete. For some, it will be faster if you have an SSD drive particularly. And uh, once it's complete, like I said, um, restart, close the window, restart the PC. And uh, and don't shut down the PC and then press the power button. When I say restart, it is a restart. You click the power and you click the restart option. Once that is done, you should hopefully have a good working Windows update. Uh, this, by the way, is a command that also can be used to fix other types of issues. If uh, so, good luck. Hope it works for you. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.